Jamil, thank you so much for today that uh, I got this opportunity to talk to you, to, um, to ask you a few questions. Well, it's good to see you again, Jordan. Uh, it's a long way from 2003 when we first met, when yep. we first were started into the housing business. Yep. No? So, mm -hmm. I think you, you've gone very far. Yep. Um, Today, I would like to ask you, I mean, I would like to find out a few things because I think a lot of people would like to know why do you choose to come to Johor? Well, you know, I was, I'm in semi-retirement and uh, mm -hmm. life in Singapore, as you know, we are a bit hectic. We are living close together. So I was looking mm -hmm. for a place that was quiet okay. initially to spend my weekends and there is some space to do mm -hmm. a bit of planting. Yep. And we found that Leisure Farm Mm -hmm. offers all these facilities. Yes, I remember the last time when I first learned that you are coming to uh, Leisure Farm. You drove me here and uh, the place is still with uh, you know a lot of open land. That's it. And then you are the first one who brought me to Leisure Farm to see like, oh, there's actually an estate in Johor that's totally different from outside. So yeah, that was amazing that uh, I got this opportunity to get to know Leisure Farm. You are the you, you are the one who brought me here. <laughs> Actually, when we first came here, uh, a lot of people were concerned. Yeah. My family was also concerned because mm -hmm. they thought that it was too quiet. Yes. You know, and uh, there were only four units under construction here. Oh, wow. and yeah, of yeah, course, I you know, that. for many Singaporeans, security mm -hmm. is always in the back of their mind. Mm -hmm. You know, but then since we settled down, we have got something like eleven or thirteen friends who have also moved into legend. Yes, I remember you introduced a few of them to me. And um, that time when I came, me as a Malaysian, instead, I was like, oh, why, why do you choose to come here? You know, I was a little bit more of the mindset where I thought, wow, Leisure Farm is something that is it's just your hall. You know? So you opened my mind to that. So I would like to know more like, you know, uh, how, why, why do you have this mindset where you can open up to such an area like you know, in Johor where in Singapore is a city, you, know, you have a lifestyle where it's different? When I was growing up, I used to stay in a house like this in mm. Singapore, okay. in the east, in Frankel Estate. Yes. Uh -huh. But as the years go by, the bungalow house became very rare. Yep. And, um, and before I came here, I was serving for 10 years in Indonesia. Okay. And we were living in nice old Dutch houses, Ooh, you know. Wow. So, the thought of coming here was where you could build a house to your taste. Ah. Yeah, you know. I think here you could design your own house. Yes. You could uh, do what you want with it. And and yes. and this being my second house, yep. you know, it gave me a lot of opportunity. It was a learning curve. Yep. Yeah. You you remember the first house yes, down the road? I yeah? remember the yeah. first house is as good as this one. Yeah. I think later we would like to take a video of your house. Yeah. And unfortunately, the first house I didn't have yeah. that opportunity. Yeah. But when I visited that from scratch, when you build yeah. to the materials you get from overseas, yeah. and I always tell all my clients that if you want to build a good house with good materials, look for my yeah. <laughs> my advisor, <laughs> my mentor. Yeah. Well, you remember the whole house was designed as a Balinese style. Yes. So that was what I was comfortable in in Indonesia. Mm. You know? So it was a good learning curve. For the first time you're building a house. Mm. And uh, but I had friends who helped me, you know, uh, I had some friends who are architect, mm. uh, Bobby you probably met, you know, yep, and yep, John, I remember him. Mm. And they were very helpful to go mm. around and help me in yes. the house. Yeah. Mm. So speaking of the the lifestyle, right, coming to Singapore to Johor, what is the any different that you find that is hard for you to adapt or hard for you to uh, um, go around, go about yeah. or anything that you would like to share? Well, I think the, the most important was that I like entertaining mm -hmm. and, um, and when I was in Indonesia, the lifestyle there, but you were always entertaining. You know? mm -hmm. Entertainment was at home, yep. you invite friends for mm -hmm. dinner and so on. So I think when you come here in a leisure farm, mm -hmm. it provides you that opportunity. Yep. You know, you could do it indoors, mm -hmm. outdoors. Yep. In Singapore, you are confined into the, the four walls of your yeah, apartment. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, and that, that, that was very important. Yeah, yeah. And, and we had many occasions 
when we had friends and family here. Yeah. You know, I think you've been to some of my yeah. <laughs> my gatherings, and I think that 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 is one thing that most of my friends enjoy. Mm, yeah. So you know, and in Singapore, people are very conscious about their car parking. Mm -hmm. Time, but when they come they here, they forget. You know, yeah. they relax and they yeah. can sit down. They don't worry yeah. about yeah. the car. They don't yeah. worry about parking. So no more HDB coupon. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that no more cash about. cards. Yeah. How about the activities? Like, uh, what what uh, do you think Johor? Uh, anything that you love about spending time here as compared? Well, I, I think the the thing that struck me most here was that there's opportunity to go outdoors. Hmm to plant plants, you know, mm -hmm. fruit trees, uh, mm -hmm. some flowers, which is almost impossible to do uh, in Singapore. Yep. You know? mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, like I said, you know, uh, when we first came here in 2003, mm -hmm. uh, things were not so well developed. Yep. But now today, after almost 20 years, mm -hmm. the infra infrastructure has improved tremendously. Yes. And it's very comfortable living here. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think, of course, everybody has to find their own niche, mm -hmm. you know. And but I think if you are going to retire, you want a slower pace of mm -hmm. life, and you want to stretch your dollar, mm -hmm. living here can be very pleasant. Yeah, you know, uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of places to go out and dine. Yep. Um, it's e easy for you to get help, mm -hmm. you know, to maintain your garden yep. or swimming pool, mm -hmm. which in Singapore this is not possible. Yeah. Okay. So. One of the things, right, a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, foreigner or Singaporean will be asking a big question like security. Can I have my big car? Yeah. Can I flash my cash? Yeah. Can I, you know, you know uh, can I go out walking without a gut, <laughs> for example? So what do you think of that? Well, actually, I always tell them that, you know, it's the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, even in Singapore, you know, when you say, um, it's crime free, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that there's no crime, yeah, there is still yeah. crime. You know? uh -huh. uh, but I think so far in Leisure Farm, mm -hmm. the security has been excellent. Yeah. With mm -hmm. almost 20 years here, I have not had any security problem. Wow, you know? 20 years. And in fact, there have been occasions when I have left my front door key. Uh -huh. If you remember the, <laughs> yeah. the old house, yeah. we, we don't even have a fence. Yeah? Yeah. So, but we have never had any any problems okay. so far. I think. Okay, we cannot review the the house number. Yeah. Yeah. you always never lock your yeah. door and all but, this, yeah. right? But then yeah. the I think people have to be street smart. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You, I mean, it's that not wise for you to go around yes. flashing your money uh -huh. and then when you're in the streets, you know. Yeah. So I think this is something that uh, yeah. you know um, people must get used to. Don't uh, bring uh, too many Prada bags. Yeah, you know, but I think if. Uh, uh, if you you, you you are you are mindful of what you're doing, mm -hmm. I think it's just as safe and secure as the, as in Singapore. Mm -hmm. You know, so so you just you just don't go to the dark places yeah. mm -hmm. at night. You know, uh, I remember there was one case where a lady was robbed. You know, but she came to jo Johor mm -hmm. and she was going back at about one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she wanted to buy some fruits, uh -huh. but she didn't want to stop in front of the fruit store. Yep. Because she because went of, and parked the car in a dark alley yeah. and left her children. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, so that is not being uh, yeah. street smart. I think that's not being wise. Yeah, the case is the the case is because uh, she has a big car. She doesn't want the yeah, store she, to. Yeah, she 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 worried that the store will be a bit more expensive when they see it's a ah, yeah. car. You know. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but yeah. then and when you are driving back at one a.m. Yeah. in the morning, you know, yeah. I, I don't think it makes a big difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was a Singaporean cast and yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that is one of the cases that is quite interesting. Thanks for sharing that. When I first came here and we were building the house, you know, I used to come every fortnight mm -hmm. to meet the contractors. Yep. And when you go to the clubhouse, people come up to you mm. and tell you, oh, you're building a house there. Wow, that's and nice. they give you a lot of pointers, uh -huh. what to look for in the contractor, uh -huh. what to look for when you're building a house, uh -huh. where you can get things that you want to do. Yep, and yep. I think that, that's very pleasant. Yep. It's a nice community, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you have your privacy, yep. but people are helpful when you yep. need the help. Especially for Leisure Farm, I heard, because they have a tight community where they kind of like have a fresh market, uh, 
you know that kind of uh, farmers market yeah, yeah. and they have like a, a, I think a group or something that they will help each another from yeah. a social media well, we, we, we have a, our, our Facebook group you know leisure oh, farmer Facebook group and I think people if you go through there you can see you know people are very helpful uh-huh. sometimes they want to get a ride to town they just ask anybody is going down to Singapore can I catch a ride Wow. Or if you want to buy something, you want to upholster your furniture. Oh. So people always share, yes. share ideas yeah. and then give information. Uh-huh. And that's what makes living here very pleasant. Oh. Yeah. Actually, another thing I notice is the um, eco-friendliness here. Because uh, a lot of residents here are quite eco-friendly and they, uh, they take care of each other's compound. They do a lot of planting. Like I know you are very good with your dragon fruits and <laughs> your plants as well. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things you, you, you are quite enjoying for the community, right? Yes, yes. I think because um, I think people are more aware mm-hmm. of the green stuff, you know, pollution, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and they look out for each other. Yep. You know, so you see that with all the development that's going yeah. around us, yeah. you find that leisure farm has become a haven for all the fauna, you know. You see the ah, monkeys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the alligator, the, you know, the yeah, yeah. monitor lizard, yeah. they're all coming to find haven here. Yes, yes. And I think people like that. You, know, you yeah. can see this and, and people make sure that they don't harm the animals. Yeah. You know? Of course, you will get the odd ones who are not familiar, they yes. will feed the animals. Mm-hmm. But by and large, you know, I think this is a haven not only yeah. for them. For, for us yes. who wants to live here, yes. but even for all the <laughs> you know the fauna, you know, yeah. I, I see all the monkeys and yeah. you get birds coming down. Yeah. Uh, you know, people who watch the birds, you know, yeah. and um, and I think uh, lately uh, we have been we have been able to see hornbills. You know, mm. oh uh, wow, and these are these are birds uh, that fly mm-hmm. migrate from the southern part of India mm-hmm. to say Borneo. Yep. And then I think along here, these are the green patches mm. where they find it is convenient for them to, to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and, nice. And that's very nice. Wow, that, that's also show that uh, this area has the ecosystem <laughs> where it's suitable for them, where they will fly here yeah. and they will, you know, stay. I mean, uh, the more is for humans, yeah. because speaking of living in the nature, mm-hmm. where it's so lacking everywhere, yeah. Singapore, Johor, I think Leisure Farm kind of provide for that. Yeah. So it's um uh I think it's, it's a leisure farm provides a lifestyle for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it it's what you want mm-hmm. and you can do this. Yep. You know, you can live in a townhouse with two bedroom mm-hmm. or you like to buy a one acre lot and build a massive house. You know, this is possible here. Yep. You know, and it's not possible in Singapore. Huh? Mm-hmm. And um Today, I think you will realize mm-hmm. that the market is all for the bungalow lots. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of expatriates mm-hmm. who are working in Singapore, they yep. prefer to stay here. Yep. And um, the number of uh, schools, yep. institutions that has come out, yep. you know, that has attracted people to yep. come to Leisure Farm. Speaking of, uh, speaking of uh, ambassador for Leisure Farm, I always <laughs> tell people that Jamil is the one of the pioneer person who came to Leisure Farm. You always speak for you know Leisure Farm, and now there you go. You are even the the ambassador for Iskandar <laughs> Jo. <laughs> very yeah. kind, Jo. <laughs> no, I mean it. Um, I think uh, a lot of people will also want to know like uh, how is your how's your uh, your social life. Well, is there any? Uh, is, is there any? Uh, will, will it affect your social life? You know, coming to here as compared to your, you know, your your community back in Singapore and all this. Well, I, I suppose at my age, you know, you enjoy uh, your uh-huh. social life a lot. Uh-huh. It's among a close circle of friends. Yes. Uh-huh. You know, and you, you don't spend time in a, in a nightclub <laughs> uh, with a lot of noise. Uh-huh. So. Here, it gives you that opportunity yes. to invite your friends, mm-hmm. to sit down and have dinner mm-hmm. and chat. Yep. Whereas in Singapore, you know, somebody, you invite somebody to their house, mm-hmm. he's always thinking, you know, what time I've got to go back, you know, my <laughs> car park expires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so I think this, yeah, is, this okay. is very, very attractive here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In a way that everyone is more relaxed yeah. and then at the same time, because of the like-mindedness, mm-hmm. uh, you, you, you kind of uh, have this a uh, community of friends that is uh, here with you. Yeah. And I, I have a maid mm-hmm. who has been with us for 18 years. Yes. In fact, she's going back 
uh, oh. end of this week to okay. get married, you know. Oh. So she has been uh, very positive, you know. Okay. So she enjoys uh -huh. having people come oh, and entertain, nice. you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I and, met her a few times. Yeah, and she sets things up, you know. You could invite about 70, 80 mm -hmm. people and it's no, no problem for her. You know? yes. So that's something I don't think you can do in Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's very possible here. Okay. So actually one more thing I think uh, the puppy would like to know is when you sold your first house with a good profit by the way <laughs> in Leisure Farm and in Polo View itself and after that uh, you decided to buy a land to build. So I, I, I shown you a few places and all this thing and you decided here again in Polo View yes. in Leisure Farm. Do you mind to share with us uh, what uh, well, what? You, if you remember that the first house, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a, it had it was double story. Yes. You know, it had a room upstairs, mm -hmm. and my wife had a fracture, mm -hmm. and it was difficult for her to go up. Mm -hmm. You know, so then we decided that it's time for us to live in a single story house. Ah. So, so we went around. We saw a lot of properties, a lot of lots, and you know, Lien High and yes. all that. But somehow. We find that we are comfortable here. Mm. You know, I think initially because of the security. Yes. Uh, so my wife was not keen. Mm -hmm. Is that either we get a lot here in Leisure Farm, mm -hmm. or we go back to Singapore? <laughs> you know? But okay. we were lucky that wow. you know I had a friend. You know, you met my friend Ben Friday. Yes, yes, yeah, I you know? yeah. So this lot belongs to him. Oh yes. And yes. he was happy to sell it to us. Mm. So we managed to build this house. Okay. And then doing it the second time, of course, was a lot easier. easier. <laughs> you know, you learn, and, yeah. you know, and I had, and like I said, I had a few friends, like uh -huh. you met John, yes. or Bobby, you know. Yeah. So they have been with me almost every day, yeah. and we managed to build this house in one year exactly. Mm, wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a especially for yeah. such a nice house. Yeah. yeah. And. Yeah. I think one of the things that we would like to later video is your house. Yeah, sure. I think. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> and we'll get some photos of your previous house as well and I can share with the public if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Uh, that'll be very nice. And if I if you don't mind I end the uh, interview with one of a small request because um I think uh, my friends I mean my fans would like to know uh, why do you choose to work with me? <laughs> uh, you know uh, Way back in 2003, you remember that I was wanted to, I was looking for a small apartment, uh -huh. you know, for my son. And I and it was coincident that you also at that time called me mm -hmm. to tell me that you are now full time into properties, you yes. know. Mm -hmm. And I told you, I gave you this what I wanted, mm -hmm. you know, and you came back mm -hmm. within the week, mm -hmm. you know, and you brought me and the first unit that I looked at was exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I bingo. wanted a small apartment without <laughs> yeah. neighbors, with a, with a greenery in front. Yeah. And so I think you know so I that, that helps to build a relationship. Hmm. And later on, you know, when, when and you remember after that when my friends were looking for houses. Hmm. Yeah, so I think you got one my classmate. Yes. Yeah, we've been yeah. in school some yeah. 40, 50 years ago. Yeah. You know, so you managed he came yeah. to the house. Yeah. And he liked it, yes. and you managed to secure for him another mm -hmm. house in the next block. So I think I don't, that's how the thing started. And yeah. I think you start building up confidence, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. And it's it's not just being a, you know uh, an agent, mm -hmm. a property owner. I think as you go along, you become friends. Yeah. yeah become comfortable. Mm -hmm. And of course, when when when, when friends wants to. Mm -hmm. Ask you. It's not easy to recommend anybody or to suggest mm -hmm. people because when you don't know them. But in your mm -hmm. case, I know you so well. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. So I know that you will attend to the customers. You yes. know, uh -huh. um, meet their requirements yeah. mm -hmm. as, far, uh, as yeah. much as possible. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of referrals, wow, the list will go on and on yeah. for 16 years. 18, 16, 18 years, you have been referring friends after friends after friends, and my list will go on. Wow, so this is it. So this is my beloved first client in Singapore, Mr. Jamil. 18 years ago, what an honor. I feel so loved and blessed to have his trust and support all these years from Singapore to Johor Bahru. 
Really, thank you so much, Jamil, for this opportunity and to spend your time with me this evening to share about your lifestyle. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and all the support. Right. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sure we hope this to be a longer relationship and yes. every success to your future ventures. Yes, thank you so much.